This is the knob. Na nilikuwa na promise na leta ile moja mrembo sana anaitwa Abi Miki. Yeah, so I have one of the most amazing and one of the top artists in Kenya right now. Her name is Abi Miki. Eh, mambo vipi? Poa sana. Eh, being topping the charts in uh, oh, really? in uh, <laughs> Yeah, by the way, this lady has been played in Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi. So, <laughs> what I'm talking about right now, you are watching the superstar right now on CFRLM TV. So, she's a big motivation to a lot of people like, like uh, those that are tuning in right now and the people that at least are coming up in the musical uh, journey ama musical history. Sindio? So, mambo vipi? Fresh kabisa. Ah, it has been many years. Ama, <laughs> ama ni one year. Uh, let me say like many years ever since uh, ni kuone. Uh, mm. mm-hmm. So uh, mambo imekuwa vipi? Imekuwa fresh mm-hmm. na shukuru God. God mm-hmm. imekuwa faithful sana. Mm-hmm. And uh, I am grateful. Really I am grateful to God. That's fresh. So mm-hmm. uh, how has been this uh, period of corona for you? Uh, corona corona to me is like a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, to other people, it may be a headache, mm-hmm. but for me, Corona has been like a breakthrough channel for me. It's been beautiful, it's been perfect, and I really bless God for that. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. because uh, like uh, you during this Corona period, you have released like song after song after mm-hmm. song after song. Mm-hmm. So that is a very good. And uh, what kept you going that period? Well, uh, my motivation was really entirely God because. Uh, Uh, the first time niliamua kufanya ngoma it was not just you know from the blues yeah corona ilikuja ika ika set many things you know ablaze yeah very many things that you know could have worked for me didn't work mm-hmm. and uh, a lot of things fell apart but one thing i glorify god for mm-hmm. it was a setting up moment for me to mm-hmm. rise up and uh, no matter how much vitu zilikuja down mm-hmm. na thank god ju hiyo ndio ilikuwa the awakening moment for me nikaona ilikuwa a moment of blah amka so uh, um i really bless god for that the corona period yes it's been a little bit uh, challenging it's been bringing things down but i bless the name of god because for me mm-hmm. it is a testimony uh it's really a testimony yeah? so uh what is the biggest lesson like the pandemic taught you uh that we should wait on god on all things you know we wait on god that time tuli tulingia kwa manyumba i remember we were a group of four <laughs> tulingia kwa manyumba tukaanza kuomba and we were praying we were praying every day all day telling god you know we need to know what you have for us in this in, in this age in this era yeah. when people are being told to stay indoors what are you planning because everybody was uh, you know tuliko tumeshtuka yeah tuko like kwani dunia inaisha you get it. in fact the world <laughs> came to a standstill like nothing was yes. moving yeah yeah so people were praying people were in the houses praying and i was one of those people mm-hmm. and god made things to turn around for me in a very mega way you know things you know i felt like it was working against me kumbe god alikuwa na mpango so god lays a setup for you to think like uh, everything is over yeah. and then he comes in to to show himself yes that's one thing i love about god yeah so uh apart from like uh, learning uh, abcd in the pandemic mm-hmm. what is that one thing that uh, um pick out of 2020 that uh, has been changed in your life completely like uh, ukiangalia saa hii mm-hmm. ukiangalia saa hii like right now this is january yeah. na ukiangalia saa na ukiangalia the whole of last year like it change mm-hmm. what is that one thing like tunasema like yeah, this is what have come out now last year my zeal for god has changed mm-hmm. I have increased more in loving God mm-hmm. and another thing I have also began to see things in a different perspective. Mm-hmm. I used to see things differently mm-hmm. but right now I see things in a better way like in, in as much as things are like this mm-hmm. I always th- see the other side of the coin. Mm-hmm. I can always flip the coin and see there is another side. Najua si lazima heads there always other also the tails, tails and, yeah. yeah all the sides and nimeanza ku view vitu differently na nimekuja ku realize that whatever we plan is not what God is planning sometimes mm-hmm. sometimes God is planning this mm-hmm. A and you're planning B, B yeah. but the bible says in the book of proverbs 16 that the plans plans of the mind belong to a man yeah. but the lord has the final say yeah yeah we plan 
God has the final say. So the biggest life lesson when you move out now ni God has the final say mm-hmm. over everything that mm-hmm. we have mm-hmm. still. Mm-hmm. So uh, musically what makes Abimiki be like unique be different from other music musicians or from other ministers what makes you stand out? <laughs> well, well, what do I say? Mm-hmm. I <laughs> <laughs> I think I stand out because I'm an I'm a Holy Ghost preacher. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I preach the Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, what, what, what? My inspiration comes from my own life mm-hmm. lessons. So th- that's where you get like your your biggest your biggest inspirations come from your life. It, it comes from God mm-hmm. coming through for my situations, mm-hmm. and then those situations become a song for me. Oh. So when I'm writing a song, it's really tied to me. I can feel it. I can feel the emotion. I, I can feel it like na feel this is a part of me hata ikiimba mahali najua wa hiyo song ilifanyika juu ya hivi na hivi na hivi yeah so um what makes uh, what do you want ama what message do you like uh, want your song to maybe present to people maybe five years from now like the biggest message yenye unataka ngoma yako iko na preach ya watu okay uh that Christ Jesus will still be Lord in and out of season. You can depend on God and he will never fail you. Amen. You can depend on God to do things for you and he will come through for you. Amen. Because ule God tuna serve si mwanadamu. Binadamu atakuja atakuchenga. But what I've learned from God and what I can want other people to know is that God will never chenga you. You get that chenga chenga. Ananga mpango wa kando. Ananga hiyo mpango ya kando ako na wewe na wewe na wewe na haizi kukuacha and that is really beautiful for anyone. So his promises are always yes and amen. And amen. Mm-hmm. So trust in him. Yeah. And then uh, how how do you feel like uh, the reception of your music uh, to your fans because okay let me not call them fans let me call them families because families are the people that held, holds your hand yeah. whatever time you are whatever situation you are in how do you feel like uh, the response ya uh, music yako when watu wanachukulia is it like uh, they are supporting it uh, the best way you feel like iko sawa ama there still something that bad in a lack uh mimi feel ni kama unaona vile nimekwambia muziki uko na emotion kwa mu. Yeah. So mimi feel my fans wangu pia mm-hmm. kama familia yangu pia mm-hmm. ina get ile 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 pia ile ka, ka emotion pia because I was reading comments the other day I was crying I was telling God what is this? I didn't intend this. Mm-hmm. Like nasoma comment msiana niambia abi I'm listening to this song and I'm crying all through. I just can't imagine how faithful God is and whatever God did for you I'm hoping that he does it for me. Amen. So my song my songs zimekuwa na ile ministry zimekuwa zikiminister wa say na the grace of God inasaidia unajua. We, we don't do this because we are able. We do this because by the grace of God we are able to push this message out yeah. there and people receive it and they receive it to the good heart so uh, the music that i sing i guess it ministers to people's needs it ministers to people's hearts and i pray that it also ministers more because you know yeah preaching jesus to the ends of the earth okay so i want us to talk about nyota yangu mm-hmm. uh, it was one of the it is one of my favorite songs actually yeah, yeah. so how did uh, yangu uh, nyota yangu came up to be because It's a very big song uh, with a very big and a very big heavy <laughs> message. Well, uh nyota yangu ilikuwa uh, sometimes back I went to visit Guardian Angel. Mm-hmm. Alikuwa anataka ku sign msani. Mm-hmm. And then I was shortlisted as the best female. And then Guardian told me something very very good. Mm-hmm. Aliniambia abi muziki yako ni complicated. Jaribu kitu simple. Mm-hmm. And I had done bila wewe akaisikiza akaniambia ai unajua hiki kitu madhe pale ushagua kisikiza mm. hata elewa hiki kitu na the prop hapo mbele inasema nini <laughs> <laughs> lifter <laughs> hey lifter I, hey just you know just try and be simple yeah. and then when i went home i was so inspired mm. i sat down and then you see I, it is my prayer mm. that my star shines shines out there mm. and then when i was writing this song i tried as much as possible to be as simple as possible amen yeah so it's one of the nicest song and not, i want us to go for short musical break but nataka tuchezwe nyota yangu kwanza i love that song so my director dj 
Uh, uko tayari? Uh, before tuende, mm. uh, I have a comment. Yeah. Uh, kutoka kwa Bernard K anasema we miss you our sister. Then Jackie Jim anasema tuned in. Yeah, I think uh, that, that's the only comments niko nayo. Mm. So uh, if you are ready, drop us nyota yangu. We come back with Abi Miki at least uh, tujibambe hapa even leo ndani. This is the norm. <laughs> uh, that is Mikorazon by the one and only Abi Miki. Ebu ni pewa kapela cause nilisikia kuna one of my sisters Barela imbe tempen teren teng yana mbanga ten ten teren teng. So Ebu can you can you give us the freestyle of the chorus of that song? Kuna wengine wengine wetu what you hear versus what you see. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jesus. Mm-hmm. It's actually not Jesus. Mm-hmm. It's Jesus. Jesus. Jesus mi corazón ter perente. Haleluya. Hiyo ni tang twister kidogo lakini. <laughs> uh, Don. Uh, do you understand hiyo ni Espan- Espanola? Espanola. Espanola. You know we the French fraternity we don't uh, Tuna trengi kidogo kuelewa Spanish. Uh, Don. Yes. Did you go to group of schools ama Onyango and Sons? Even the hata uh, <laughs> hata msanii mwenyewe kwenda hiyo group of schools. <laughs> <laughs> Ali Google, alifanya ku Google. Oh, Ali Google akaona hiyo jina ndio oh. akaanza. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> lakini Don lakini kidogo naunguza lakini kitu kingine nyenye nilikuwa by the today we are discussing about responsibilities in relationships. Before to end the apple, my question is are you dating? Uh I'm not supposed to be dating. I'm not supposed to be dating. Yes. Are you engaged? Are you married? I'm not supposed to be engaged. Ah uh, okay, married. You know, married. Married and lazy. I'm not supposed to be married. You're supposed to be. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. Right now I'm focusing on music mm-hmm. and God and everything else that comes to the kingdom first. Yeah. So team Mafis wale mko nje. I'm sorry uh, the, the the boat is full I'm taken by Jesus yeah. I'm the Jesus girl So the first thing first if you want to get her go to her YouTube channel subscribe invite more people to sub, uh, invite more people to subscribe uh, to share her music to like that music invite like a hundred people Ukisha invite a hundred then ingia uh, inbox umsalimie kidogo at least say hi one, two, three. <laughs> at, at least tutakuwa lift music yako <laughs> umekatwa a new level ndio <laughs> So at least at, at least you have at, I'm trying to campaign for you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then another question nanya nataka kuuliza. Like uh, nini ilikufanya like kuamua kuimba gospel music because there there are a lot of genres of music hapa hivi nje yenye unge unge indulge into because you are still a young energetic lady. Uh, kuna muziki mingi sana unge ungeingia ndani lakini ukaamua ku focus on God. Why gospel music? My heart is mm-hmm. sunk mm-hmm. in God. Mm-hmm. Most of the experiences that we go through as young people change us. Mm-hmm. And it depends where you want to hang. Mm-hmm. When the winds hit me so hard, mm-hmm. I hang close to Jesus. Mm-hmm. And that is how I can't even move further from that because that is where my life is entangled. Mm-hmm. I can't move from that. So the experiences I went through they drew me closer to God than to the world. Mm-hmm. So me choosing to sing gospel it was like I'm I'm giving God the thanks that he deserves, you know. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to tell God eh umekuwa mwaminifu, umekuwa faithful. I've mm-hmm. gone through this but these things have drawn me close to you. Mm-hmm. You deserve all the praise, you deserve all the worship and that is it. So uh, you are becoming a uh a friend of Jesus mm-hmm. not afraid of Jesus mm-hmm. yeah, comment section hapa hivi ni mwana Irene Achieng amaweka LOL it's motto is lit so uh, abimiki yes. which was like your biggest song and it could break forth in your ministry mi corazon mm. <laughs> i love so, mi corazon yeah it so. means jesus my heart belongs mm. to you oh. i told you mm. i've just explained mm. why gospel mm. why cling to jesus yeah. the experiences that you go through make you grow closer to god or further mm-hmm. from god and mi corazon is like telling god jesus for what you have done mm. for what you will do mm-hmm. my heart belongs to you so how do you feel like uh, unanda mahali and then somebody calls you abimiki mm. people that wamekuzoea mm. like uh, wala sana they know you by your birth name mm. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> they know by your birth name. Yeah. Uh, but now yeah, umeenda pale they are calling you Abimiki. How do you feel? Uh, do you I feel like know. you have been an impactful in their life uh, as Abimiki? Am I do you just feel like uh, it's just normal? Uh, well, I don't know. I can't explain mm-hmm. you. Um I'm not one person who loves the limelight a lot. Mm-hmm. I I prefer ad I prefer the simple girl that loves Jesus. Mm-hmm. So, nikisikia mtu amenita Abimiki ni freeze kidogo. So, that uh, drives me to another question. Like, have you ever been to somewhere mm-hmm. where nobody knows you? Yes. I could you totally like uh, G or Bimiki. So, how do you handle that? Do you kind of try to make them like no because unajua kuna size nyingine ngoma imesikika huko lakini eh unajua kuna kuna mali ya tunanga TV tuko na unajua kuna ile TV nakumbuka we used to have that TV ya macho moja kale kadogo wewe mwenye unaiona mkuu atatu ukifungua macho zote hao wengine waone unazuia wengine so like these are the rest people waje waje ona bimiki so how do you feel like ama how how do you receive that do you try like uh, to put that energy they know like I I see that there is a need for me to push more and mm-hmm. make Jesus known more because uh me mostly hata sitakangi nijulikane mm-hmm. nataka nga ule Mungu wako ndani yangu aonekane mm-hmm. more of what I profess out there is the gospel of Christ mm-hmm. so if people can't see Christ in me mm-hmm. I don't want them to see me hallelujah yeah. so like uh, right now apart from music what else are you trying uh, what else are you doing maybe in the society maybe to educate maybe other people up ivo inje I I do motivational vlogs. Mm-hmm. I also nurture young talents, mm-hmm. especially ladies. Mm-hmm. And I am one person who is a crusader of sorry to say, mm-hmm. I believe that women are powerful and strong people. So mm-hmm. I crusade for young women out there to, you know, cast out their nets and begin to fish. Hallelujah. God has given them. Thank you very much you have brought me to my topic today. Mm-hmm. Uh, today we are talking about responsibility in re- relationships. Mm-hmm. And for instance, uh, tukiangalia mm-hmm. uh, responsibilities mingi mm-hmm. zinakuanga to men. Mm-hmm. When we go out the bill is always on kwa kichwa mwanaume. Unaelewa? So what is your take on uh, responsibility in relationships? Do you think like uh, it should be men's responsibility to take care of the ladies ama it should be both parties responsibilities actually mm-hmm. um and by going out what did you mean like we are dating mm-hmm. you are dating someone ama yeah. you are seeing someone you know dating is not even scriptural uh, I, this is in generation aside actually ni kenyana happen actually ni kenyana happen people people date Actually okay. uh-huh. actu- actually naweza sema ushai date. Uh, mimi yeah maybe ushai date. Uh-huh. You have never dated in your like your entire life. My history is hidden in God. Oh. I don't have any history. Mm. Okay, done. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no no. <laughs> done. Na nilikuwa nauliza. Wacha tusiende huko. Noma. Uh, okay there are those people that are dating like right mm. now. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Inaweza kuwa like see you, see mm. wewe, mm. but there are those people that are dating mm. and uh, yes yes they are not supposed to be dating mm-hmm. but they are dating actually mm. na kwa hiyo harakati. Mm. And then kwa hiyo harakati ya ku date mm. wameenda out somewhere uh, maybe you know going out uh, maybe in a dinner date yeah. ama in a restaurant maybe mm-hmm. one or to grab three things up 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 and up pale mm-hmm. uh, do you think like uh, is a man's responsibility mm-hmm. the lady's responsibility ama is both of their responsibilities the bible says that mm-hmm. wataacha makwao mm-hmm. watakuja watakutana kwa kitu kimoja so there is no one that is higher than the other it's just that man is mm-hmm. the head uh-huh. of a lady but in responsibility mm-hmm. they become equal And actually in responsibility I will turn this to the ladies mm. because the Bible says that the proverbs that one woman Aye, wakes hallelujah. up early eh. anatafuta chakula mm-hmm. wakiamka wanaipata wapi mezani anaenda anatengeneza fakots anaenda anatengeneza nguo mzuri mzuri analetea wafanyikazi na bwanake you see yeah. this lady is hard working she brings food to the table she feeds the family she feeds the workers she she doesn't even need you know 
money or husband or you know the husband chipping in in yeah. some things she is a lady who is independent by herself and that is why i tell women be a wife before you become one done so i, I have a question yes yes nikona swali hapo kwa basically we are talking about bringing the food kwa mm-hmm. sufuria <laughs> no, 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 no. We are talking about the lady mm-hmm. providing literally mm-hmm. even in cash. Mm-hmm. When okay. you look uh ukiangalia okay, hiyo context ya uh, the book of Proverbs mm-hmm. 31. Yeah. Utaona this lady hakuwa na depend on the husband. Mm-hmm. The husband alikuwa anapata heshima juu ya hard work ya bibi yake. Yeah. The Bible says that the husband would step in the gates and people would clap hands for him and praise him because the lady is hard working. Mm-hmm. And the Bible says that she would put out her husband there as a good man. Mm-hmm. So Tukiangalia mm. it's a lady who is independent mm-hmm. working mm-hmm. providing for the family yes. they don't need the, you see the husband is given a helper Rondo you get yeah. yeah and that does not mean that they they do the whole job like mm-hmm. our family kazi yote yeah maybe the helper is supposed to help this husband become the head yeah you get mm-hmm. so saa zingine tukirusha hii ball kwa wanaume mm-hmm. all the time sijui but ni, ni, ni William say unaamua unasema maybe i'm going to provide for the family yeah. but according to me they have equal responsibility and actually the lady plays a bigger role in maintaining the standard and maintaining the you know the proprietor you know relationship between yeah. the, the two parties yeah yeah done yeah uh, i think mm-hmm. uh, tumepata mtetezi wa haki uh, inaitwa <laughs> inua, inua dada foundation so yes, kuna kuna kitu nimesikia kisema uh-huh. like uh, dating is, uh, is not biblical uh-huh. so does it mean that uh, the whole the whole world is uh, uh, is using sin uh-huh. to marry not really but uh, it depends with you you see some people call courting uh-huh. dating okay and i get yeah there is courting and there is dating there are two different things but some people may use dating to mean courting courting i mean and uh courting is not wrong dating according but to the world of today ukisema dating unamaanisha vitu mingi sana so you know that like right it, does it mean that uh, naweza meet na na a lady leo and mm. then courting immediate okay what is dating to you yeah. what is dating to you dating the way you understand it. <laughs> no, 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 look at this one. <laughs> no. Don. Because yeah. Don. <laughs> to me I think eh, <laughs> dating dating is a must. Because eh, listen fast eh, This is how relationships should start. Yeah. Now the professor of love and relationship <laughs> is speaking. <laughs> this is how it should start. We start by being friends <laughs> and then we date. Unaona hiyo ya kati ya kudate ndo tunaitwanga ma player why? Because eh, unajua kuna varieties eh. You, you have people Uh, tunajuana unaelewa tunajuana pale and then from dating and then tunaenda courtship why are we going to courtship because i've identified that potential but you know that you know that whatever you're doing in dating mm-hmm. is it the same thing that you do in courting B- but, but you uh-huh. see the, the part where na disagree na dating mm-hmm. if we call it courting mm-hmm. it agree it's a must before marriage mm-hmm. but if we call it dating mm-hmm ni tricky because you know courting is the same thing mm-hmm. but it is holy <laughs> dating is unholy because you are dating you know mm-hmm. what dating is uh-huh. do you know the meaning of dating is very uncouth uh- but <laughs> oh <God. laughs> but courting mna unakuja una spot lady mm-hmm. unaona yeah this can be my wife una get mm-hmm. and then una court mm-hmm. in courtship mm-hmm. you get to learn them you can go for those ones that you're calling dates. them uh, them okay ha huh. you begin to learn mm-hmm. anakaaje anakuangaje anajibebaje mm-hmm. mnaenda pale kwa hoteli sasa hiyo yenye mnaita date yeah sasa <laughs> ah uh, sasa your hotel is see dating your hotel your hotel is a dinner date no dinner, dates. dinner vitu za watu wenye pesa eh yeah. watu wenye pesa wenye tunaendanga the rest wanaendanga uhuru park <laughs> Jivanji <laughs> mnalala tu um, mnalala tu nje unapiga story <laughs> uh, so that is the only difference mm-hmm. courting is holy mm-hmm. dating is a bit of young people having sex a lot of sex thank uh, you but it depends i think dating depends on how uh, people understand it ama how people take it 
but because uh, can you know how can i how can i get because the the woman who i'm supposed to maybe kwa in courtship na eh mm. we need to be friends yeah as in before like hata tuinge kwa hiyo courtship unaelewa before hata tuinge kwa courtship eh there's that friendship and that's why maybe mm-hmm. most uh, most of the marriages mm-hmm. they normally fall why because you dated someone mm-hmm. mwenye you are not friends um, amju yeah, amjuani yeah, unaelewa right. yes, you yes. become first friends ndo mwanze mkiendelea like you know who um, say obvious avangi socks anakula kilo 10 eh anakulanga kilo 10 ya ugali ama ya nyama peke yake yeah you, you know this person so atoking ya pale unajua like yenyewe um, umse ako a b c d so is upon me now to rectify the the channels ndio yeah. lakini wewe that's what unasema coach tip umesema umeona dem pale umeona anaweza kuwa bibi chukua yeye pita hapo mbili tatu bibi kwa nyumba you see mm, no 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 uh, see no, no. don't no, no. How, how, how do you understand me? how do you understand because mimi na bibi sikia mimi yangu uh, this is how Actually, i understand it Actually, you can't according to the bible mm-hmm. you can't quote someone who is not your friend look at isaac and rebecca mm-hmm. And those will kwa shorter matter. Una get? Lakini unajua hao walikuwa walikuwa related kind of. Ni sawa, I'm just talking about the the kind of courtship I mean. Yeah. You, you don't just you see where we go wrong mm-hmm. is when we take the worldly understanding mm-hmm. of courting mm-hmm. and bring it to the church. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because if we understood mm-hmm. that kama ni dim mm-hmm. nataka kumwoa, si ndio? Mm-hmm. I know I have that intention. Mm-hmm. Of course I have to become friends with them. Yeah. Hakuna vile tutakaa hivi. Mm-hmm. But mimi sitaita date. Anyway, tuite tu date ndo yeah. muziki. <laughs> Asa tu nipumuzike. They are, they are my guys. Nanda sana. Yeah. I think Abi anajaribu kusema hivi. Mm-hmm. Like uh, tutoe date. Mm-hmm. To change tab as in to change. Uh, to change jina yake. Jina yake. Mm-hmm. So we, we are just friends. Yeah. Yes, you guys are friends. Uh, you grow into friendship. Uh, And then when you <laughs> friend <laughs> zone. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> 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 kuna benadike wanasema dating is a must because that's where you get to know the partner deeper courting is a preparation to marriage buda kunywa soda kwa bili yako out yeah ye umeweza manza umeweza hiyo no. point imeweza because sikia the moment we are dating unaona okay most people the most people unaja going into friendship ah uh, uh, wacha niite dating vizuri dating no unajua the moment we are dating eh. unaelewa hapo uh, ndo tunajua na like unaja ni sikujui poa okay. actually yeah. sikujui like nimekutana na kwa barabara pale so i wanna know you mm-hmm. like eh hey, nakujua kiasi eh hey, your likes dislikes achana hii simu eh hey, what do you like your color ah uh, achana hiyo like uh, mnaanza kujuana mnaenda hiyo outing kiasi sasa unajua outing ni huko wenye wanaendanga yeah, yeah. yeah so you go that outing kidogo then after there niona like kenya you are the potential woman that i need eh? mm-hmm. tunaingia sasa kwa hiyo tunitonga courtship mm-hmm. now that's where you are introduced to the uh, the the and uh, the ancestors uh, the most ladies wanaongoja ngayo part ukisha kwa introduced kwa the ancestors wanakuacha <laughs> wanakuacha una rudi kwanza kwa peace the ancestors <laughs> So una una ku introduce kwa una ku introduce kwa the family yeah. unajua like yeah this is my bro my sis ni 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 then from there mm-hmm. ndio tunapiga ngele magoti moja oh no inaitwa in engagement eh imeingia hii imeweza eh tunaweza fanya aje tuende next level unaona hizo yeah. hatua so tumeshajuana nimeshakujua nyewe ni hata tukienda na yeye home unaona chapanga tu gari kilo saba so wale wana man ama upendangi kitu fulani tushajua na ile poa. Kwanza mimi napenda ugali. Ugali. Sana. Oh, mko wengi sasa. Sasa at least najaza list yetu anapenda ugali. <laughs> sasa at least najaza sana anapenda ugali. But the reality is eh, mm. at least eh, kuna hiyo step. As much as yes you, you people call it differently according mm. to how they know it ama according yeah. to how they understand it. Yes, yes. Chuyu inaweza kwa friendship au visual kwa msema tu ni courtship direct. Uh, uh, but uh, kuna ala nita friendship kuna ala nita dating yeah, yeah. yeah because that's the now where by kuna wengine alikuwa anasema mm. uh, watu wanaitwanga play up because wako na the bunch of ladies Wa, mm. wana wanaangalia like ah huyu hezi so there's no need ya kupeleka watu huyu home so mnajuliana yani mnajuliana nje okay. mkapo tu ai 
huyu anakongana attitude sana so huyu attitude ile mtoa huyu ananyonga kipara huyu kipara ile mtoa huyu anakuanga state kwa word huyu ndo sasa tunampeleka new level unaona okay. unakuwa categorized hapo unachuja ukiingia sana ndo sasa muingie kwa courtship so in courtship now you are studying one person mm-hmm. unajua like sana ni huyu uh, let us see how anaweza kama anaweza hii kitu ama hezi mm-hmm. then from there you graduate yeah. unaelewa mm-hmm. But uh, the most important point anya nimepata pale kwako uh, responsibility uh, should be on the lady side and on both sides yes because also umesema man means to manage na umesema tu vizuri mwanaume anafaa mke asubuhi anapata kila kitu ko ready a lady is a helper yeah. they help make the man the man yeah. you know yeah your husband will be so ashamed mm-hmm. to marry you mm-hmm. and depreciate from where he was mm-hmm. coming down yeah. but when you bring them up and they become someone who is uh, you know respected in the society someone who brings out you know the look of substance ah yeah. uh, you have helped them a lot so at least uh, you shine unajua wana semanga behind a successful man there's a woman i don't know what a woman does behind that is because what i should, was saying she should be she close with the You know let's be by my side here. Yeah? We're supposed to be back in the man here. So you are trying to push me. In other words, mm-hmm. he is the head. Mm-hmm. The woman is the body. She is oh. here. She is the trunk. Okay. So she so, has to do most of the work so she to make herself and the husband mm-hmm. stand up because they are one. Yeah, so they should not be behind yes. like others say. They're supposed to be together. Yeah. When people agree, the Bible mm-hmm. says when two or three people agree on a matter mm-hmm. touching on heaven and earth I the Lord will make it to come to her. That's wonderful. So uh, in town uh, three weeks ago mm-hmm. there was a lady was uh, al- alionekana pale akipiga magoti akiomba uh, asiachwe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How do you feel uh, about such kind of a uh, such kind of a scenario? Alikuwa naomba asiachwe. Asiachwe. As in I don't know actually when it really happened but alipatikana tu yani mm-hmm. the the camera lady was saying anaomba anaomba msamaha asiachwe. Maybe Uh, walikuwa may have a misunderstanding mm-hmm. ama there something ilikuwa may happen but uh, watu walichukulia in a different way kuna wale alichukulia ni vibaya sana venye wode malifanya by kuenda down on her knees kwanza in public mbele ya watu what do you take what is your take on that i i i i i, I have i have nothing whatsoever mm-hmm. to you know counter that mm-hmm. because but, um, most ladies wale wali come through mm-hmm. they were condemning the lady like because uh, of going down on yeah, her knees. Yeah. Well, that is entirely what women should do. Mm-hmm. Should be someone who's submissive. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you don't have to. You see in the world of today people put it this way that you don't <laughs> have to go that much extreme yeah. to please your husband mm-hmm. because they feel that there are other people who can, you know, make you happier. Yeah. But I feel that if you feel that this is the right person for you mm-hmm. and you feel that they can make you uh go beyond mm-hmm. or maybe you people have had an history you don't care about other people mm-hmm. because this is a person that understands you more yeah so you don't need to fear people yeah. when you're going on your knees and begging you it's in women mm-hmm. they are emotional they are emotional creatures mm-hmm. they need to go to that point where they have to break unajua mwanaume atafanya kitu physical yeah mwanamke ni emotional so atalia tu mbele watu so you get it's okay but well the world puts it mm-hmm. which is not us we are children of god mm-hmm. the world puts it that you should not go to that extreme mm-hmm. level to play someone but it's always like uh, kuna wale there are those humble people mm-hmm. and uh, to me on my take ilikuwa mm-hmm. maybe the lady knows the imp- how important yeah, this yeah, guy yeah. this guy is in yes. the vision maybe they are doing something na i might say they would them sana kwa vitu mob sana yeah. maybe yeah. and uh, aliona like yeah, this is not the right person to yeah. lose yeah, yeah. but to some people who don't know maybe their relationship story mm-hmm. they are like ah, this is wrong yeah So uh, getting back to music uh, I want to know the inspiration behind uh, umefanya jambo mm-hmm. it is uh, one of the biggest song also yenye ilikami kabumba sana mm-hmm. ilisumbua by the way the internet <laughs> I was like <laughs> we thank god yeah so uh, what what was the main inspiration behind the song uh, umefanya jambo is uh, I told you last year was mm-hmm. not one of the best years mm-hmm. but it opened my eyes into another reality mm-hmm. that God does not just do wrong. Mm-hmm. 
God mm. hezi fanya vitu ziende hivi zi go haywire mm. na upate hana plan B. Mm. So when things went for me mm-hmm. there was another door that opened yeah. and this was a great and effectual door that was so open before me I stood and I went right in. Right. And that is when I came up with this testimony mm-hmm. that God you have done it for me. If you were a human being mm. you wouldn't even look at me twice because we mess up big time. Mm. Yeah. People mess up and others mess so bad mm. that ukisharudi kwa boss wako mwambie manzeni forgive na kwambie wewe atatoka hapa ana kutusi. Yeah. Because you have done something that's so bad. But when I looked at the goodness of God and you know how he came through for me uh uh nilisema I must say if you are a human being god you have done it you have done it for me mm. you will do it again and again and again because you're a faithful and a merciful god and you're full of love and you, you you're slow to anger mm. and i came up with that song because i i felt that i should tell god because you've done it i am grateful amen if you're a human being i wouldn't be here my mom they, my, the bible says my mom and my father may forsake me mm. but the lord will uphold me hallelujah Preach to man of God. So, God upheld me mm. when everything fell apart. Mm. I saw that door. It was so open before me. I stepped right in and I told God, "You have done it for me." Amen. So, it is a testimony song. And even in that, yes, I didn't receive the miracle immediately, mm. but I told God, you know, I've stepped into it. Mm. I'm going to sing this song because I believe you for a miracle. Amen. God does not fail a believer. Hallelujah. <laughs> So William so watch to watch these are Abi Miki mm-hmm. the one of the most uh, humble ladies some humble ministers like we have right now in Kenya and uh, uh, her testimony is very big actually because you can also see like uh, what the songs are doing to other people's life is something that uh, you cannot comprehend unaona so let us always keep on your support to compare your support a young woman and the first deal uh, another thing like uh, i noticed in your songs eh, mm-hmm. you change the director and you change the producer mm-hmm. so is it because you're trying like a fresh vibe ama like uliamua uh, tu like let me just do something ama are you into a management whereby now you feel like ah let me management de liamua um. <laughs> uh well I actually didn't change the director and the producer. Mm-hmm. It happened. Mm-hmm. So it came to. So uh, uh, then before that would be as well. Are you into a management? Well, I am not signed. Mm-hmm. I work with people. Oh. Uh every day God opens opportunities for me to work with big people and I'm so grateful. Actually, mm-hmm. that song mm-hmm. I was in the studio and then you know, we were talking with Shona Kanembe. Where happy kwa ni wewe uwezangi hata kuimba. Si ni kupigia tu uimbe ngoma. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, fine. Mm-hmm. And then we didn't write this song. Mm-hmm. We came up with the chorus. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I had written it before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had told God I want to do this song for you. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa nimeandika tu chorus peke yake. Mm-hmm. So, hizo zingine nilitungia hapo kwa studio. And about the video, mm-hmm. God send help from Zion. Woof. Nowhere. From People I totally don't know. Yeah, uh, then up hivi kwa comment section eh, kabla tuendelee sana mm-hmm. kuna Baraka Phil. Mm-hmm. Anasema nimebarikiwa sana. Nimekusalimia Abimiki. I'm so inspired and God bless you. Amen. Yeah, so play for me umetenda jambo and then we come back uh, as we wind up the show. Uh, it's a very entertaining day for us. So angusha kitu. This is yo, the yo, yo. Uh, welcome back to the Nob Gospel Show. Uh, Nadai ku introduce his yangu moja wa power sana. Uh, she has been a blessing uh, in her ministry and in my ministry. Na nimesema tu akuja tusalimie because uh, soon she will be releasing a new song and uh, I know she will be right here again coming to you guys and what I request you guys ni kumpiga pale support. Enda pale kwa YouTube channel yake pia subscribe ni pale hivyo. Uh, here we normally say support the local artist because your favorite artist was once a local artist. So enda hapo hivyo kwa link yake ya YouTube utapiga subscribe hapo hivyo then ushena wase kadha. When she is blessed you are blessed times too. So mambo vipi? Poa sana. Yeah, una una kaida ya imbaji sauti zao zina <laughs> commanding voices. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so mambo vipi? Poa sana. Yeah, ume, umekuwa vipi? Nimekuwa fiti. Mm-hmm. Nashukuru God. Amen. So uh, uh any new thing like unatupangia hii mwaka? Yeah, kuna mengi sana. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like he said, uh, mm-hmm. I'm planning to release my first video. Mm-hmm. 
early this month. Mm -hmm. Actually, to share Yanza. Sinanza kesho. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From tomorrow, kuna plans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you want to search for me on YouTube, mm -hmm. there is a, a small video there. Mm -hmm. A word of encouragement, actually. It will bless you. Mm -hmm. So, jina ya YouTube ni Krista Bella. And that is the name that I'm using on all platforms. Mm -hmm. Krista, Bella. then Bella. Yeah. Yeji nangu ya kwanza na fani badilisha kidogo lakini we shall proceed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing na pigwa vita sana na yojina. Uh, Irina likuja na mungine pia naitua uh, anaitua yoji nangu ya kwanza so I'm thinking of changing it soon. We, mzazi naona tutapigana tuta kidogo. And then uh, uh, nini na kuinspire sana kusav God as a young as, as a young youth? Neza sema ni vitu mob. But uh, in serving God the main thing, okay, actually, it starts with salvation. Mm -hmm. Like when you receive salvation, mm -hmm. na your salvation ina kwanga convicted by the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. So, unapata vitu mingi sana zina inspire. Apart from the word of God, and God himself, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. kuna wale wase, mm -hmm. wana kwanga close. Wale mabazenga. Yeah, wale mabazenga, <laughs> wale mabazum. Yeah. Like for me, Neza sema, like, Abby, Abby has been a blessing to me mm -hmm. for so many years. For the years that I've known her, mm -hmm. she has always encouraged me. Mm -hmm. And other artists, gospel artists, actually. Yeah, not, not only artists, mm -hmm. other gospel artists. Yeah. yeah. So, Abby Miki, mm -hmm. uh, a very big international secular artist, like, a like, approach, like, like, Abby Miki, uh, I want us to do a song. What will be your response? Secular Secular artist. Okay. Mm. For instance, mm. secular mm -hmm. from the Greek mm -hmm. word means without God. Mm -hmm. So I cannot support anyone who is without God. Okay. Christabel, you can you can you accept like uh, you, you know all the secular artists wala kopale inje and they're doing good music actually. And they feel like you know uh, in order for you maybe to reach that level because I understand maybe the secular people take it like uh, when you want to do a song with a, when you want your song to go international level, you do a song with an international artist or an international international secular artist a come approach like uh, right now I want us to do a song. What will be your first response? Definitely no. A big one in fact. Mm -hmm. yeah. eh. This uh, opportunity of a lifetime. Because unajua kitu moja walisema, kuna ndugu yangu mgina na pendana kutumia iwadi sana, anasema, you take the money kutoka kwao, kwao watu wa dunia, I don't know if bado yu kitu na exist, you take the money from the earthly people, you bring it to the kingdom of God. But anyway, that's for another day. So my sister Abimiki Apaivi, she was featured in today's Daily Nation. Sunday Nation. Oh, Sunday Nation. I've tried so much English. So, manze, uh, go, uh, come out and grab your copy because they are still there. Uh, if you want to know more about Abimiki, because we cannot, uh, we cannot talk much about her, but we can appeal to Gazeti. There are a lot of stuffs you will get to know uh, more about Abimiki. So, Abimiki, I have known like uh, your songs, you make one testimony here, here and there. But I wanted to give uh, these people watching us, like right now, live, uh, what the Lord did for you. Until you have a point, you feel like, hey, let me get saved and follow the Lord. Because like there's a person right now who feels like they want to give up. They are watching you like live right now and they feel like, you know, I want to give up right now. God is not there. Um, maybe God is not, God is not coming through. And also there's another person watching us live right now. They have not given their lives to Christ and they are going through the same situation that will be here. So what I want to just to share like uh, your testimony just in a bit. Hata kama ni two minutes peke yake, at least ule msana tuwachi pale, mwenye ako down sa hii, atapata yo strength ya kuwa motivated. That's right. Yeah. Well, I want to tell you, in as much as you're watching this, first of all, you're blessed. God has given you the opportunity to meet with him. This is a, this is a podium of the divinity. Yeah. And we thank God for that. And uh, one thing I want to tell you, uh, I will not talk much about my testimony. Mm -hmm. One day I will testify. Mm -hmm. But today I want to tell you this thing. That God makes your story outstand mm -hmm. with what you go through. Amen. Whatever you go through is what makes you unique. 
when I'm standing here, I am a living testimony that Christ Jesus saves. Amen. He saved me. Not once, not twice, not thrice. I can't even tell. <laughs> every oh day he saves you. Every day I'm born again. Yeah. I wake up every day, I am born again. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you, it doesn't just come easy. Mm-hmm. I was talking to Bella and uh, Deuce Derek. Mm-hmm. I was telling them that there is power in waiting. When you wait in God, mm-hmm. with God, mm-hmm. my friend, you don't lose. You don't lose battles. You don't lose in life. You can't be a loser. Mm-hmm. You have Christ in you. You cannot be a loser. So mm-hmm. one thing, uh, I've been waiting for God f- for years. Mm-hmm. I've been waiting in God for years. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember I used to pray. I used to pray and fast and tell God, as a young girl, I used to tell God, I want to make it one day. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how. But because you're my father, mm-hmm. you're going to make me do that thing. Amen. I told God, I'm going to go to campus. And my parents are not rich. And I can't see any hope. But I know that when other students are going to campus, because you are my heavenly father, I will go to campus. Amen. And I told God, I don't have fees right now. Now, I'm telling you my journey when I'm summarizing it. Mm-hmm. I, tell, I told God another time, I've come to campus, there is no fees. But you know what? You're going to provide for this fees. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I didn't just get a job. I got a job that was giving me a lot of money. I wasn't being paid in a month. Mm-hmm. I was being paid in weeks. Hallelujah. And God has been doing it for me. When you go into a personal relationship with God, mm-hmm. it doesn't just happen for you. He makes it happen for you. Amen. And waiting in God, with God, is the best thing ever. The Bible says that those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Yeah, strength yeah. It is not God renewing your strength. Mm-hmm. It is you, you renewing the strength, strength. Yeah. in waiting. So the price that you have to pay for you to get strength, mm-hmm. to go to another level, mm-hmm. wait. Amen. Wow. What a nice stuff. So, Christabel, on your side, <laughs> I, I understand there's a song you did uh, with a Ugandan. Eh? Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can see it playing background. Eh? So, uh, I, uh, before that, to here, be Miki, Lazima, you go over to Banda. So, Christabel, I understand like everybody has a story. Yeah. Like, uh, we go through like stuffs each and every day. So, um, <laughs> There's a moment like I, I understand you, you. You have been through a lot, actually. Yes. I've seen and I've heard also. Yeah. So uh, what is that one testimony uh, that you can tell these guys that are watching us like live right now? Because, you know, one thing about you guys, you, all of you are ladies. Yeah. And the same challenges that you are going through like li- right now is the same challenges that we also men go through. Because you are ministers and uh, there are a lot of ministers who are also males outside there. Yeah. And they're going, they are struggling with the same struggles. So... Give us that one testimony that God came through in your life and uh, your life transformed completely. And you are like, uh, even you are going through that situation. Because I normally believe, eh, I don't care who is watching me live right now. The doctor might have given them the uh, final report, like uh, they have signed their death, their death sentence. But truth is, God is coming through that situation because God does not operate with the doctors. That's right. Because he's the doctor. So yep. God heals, doctor gets the cash. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, <laughs> true. So for me, um, I have so much to say about God. Mm-hmm. But that one moment that God really came through mm-hmm. and everything around me changed, mm-hmm. it's when I went to campus. Mm-hmm. Like, I lose hope mm-hmm. after from four, the way she said, mm-hmm. actually. Yeah. Any, anything. Yeah. I used to stay with an aunt. So any any every night what we melala but I'm just crying and then there is a song of Frank Mtakatifu I used to listen to that song I cry I cry I cry actually uh atas kujua it just happened abruptly like my mom called me do you know Monday you're going to school and I'm like huh are you serious I had to travel from Nairobi to Kakamega yeah, to, to go Dubai. In the shoe <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and since then, Amen. I've seen God work for me. Mm. The moment you understand who you are in God, mm. like those challenges when they come, 
you know you're a new creation you're yeah. a new creature yeah. and then the holy ghost lives in you mm-hmm. so at okipita is all challenge challenges the holy spirit is there to strengthen yeah, yeah, you yeah. unajua tu ni ta push through yeah. and it is in those challenges that now the person in you arises yes. yeah eh uh, kuna tulikuwa tunaongelea leo story na relationship eh? the responsibilities in one minute eh? what is your take on that the responsibilities uh, in relationships should the man take the responsibilities in marriage um, in everything eh? um, uh, it should be both cases because uh, last week about the pigo vita mbaya sana yeah tukiitwa the men were kiitwa the big babies umesema in a relationship we have not said in marriage the relationship but mko kwa marriage you are in a relationship but of course yeah it is a relationship mm-hmm. you can't be in a marriage if you're not in a relationship. Yeah, you're not related, yeah. 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 <laughs> so yeah, you, so you yeah. become one. You become one. You are one. Yeah, yeah. that is the relationship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh for me na is the responsibilities to na share. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, we share responsibilities. Yeah. But how? You are the the one to provide more. Hey, Hallelujah. I just came there as a helper. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, actually, <laughs> ladies are there to help. Okay. Yeah. So okay. There's a time look when you lose a fee. You are in a relationship or you are in that marriage and then you make a point uh, you want to start a business. Is it right for you guys in in a place when you are is it okay for your guy to come a kuombe alone? For me I can support that mm-hmm. but you have to return my money. Hi. Yeah because mm-hmm. as I said earlier mm-hmm. okay <laughs> my people hey. Hey. Yeah, it's true because yeah, you no. are the head. <laughs> no, it's true. The man is the head. <laughs> Don't. And I just came there as a helper. I'm your helper. See, si, si like yeah. my money is my money. <laughs> well, your money is our money. Oh. But yeah. But unona unona vile unona vile anasema. Yes. Ni poa kusaidia. Yeah. Lakini sasa Mimi bado nita stick pale kwa proverbs that you are man. No. Yana pesa yeah. familia ikue. Yeah. Enda tafuta zingine. Yeah. Wewe ndio mwanamke mwenye yeah. kutafuta mapesa. Mm. So really I am for the idea of the lady providing and not asking for it. I, I think I'm standing on this side. Don't. I have, I have a question. Eh huyu huyu amekuja ku oppose the motion. Huyu <laughs> mega. Yes, uh, <laughs> I, I, have, uh anyway. I have a word yeah. for a word for Bella. Uh-huh. Uh, to some extent uh-huh. ako right uh-huh. ako right till when uh, the husband atakufa <laughs> oh my god <laughs> at that before to endele uh, there's a comment here from Vivian Odura anasema if god went for a prostitute who are we christians not to accept a secular artist and win the soul to christ hence they may just be the lost sheep that needs us to bring them to christ oh. whom do we want to preach who do we want to preach our gospel to anyway many are we in the image of god but few in the likeness of our father hallelujah i think alikuwa uh, anaongelea about uh, the question alikuwa anamuuliza aria about um, be doing a song with a secular artist uh, thank you very much vivian uh, for tuning in tusaidie kushare injili ende mbele yeah don yeah eh tukisema tu kweli wao mwanaume atakufa na atatak obvious yeah Because okay. you know mm. as as men's fellowship according to our amendments page 203 paragraph 1 mm. uh, it is good uh, for a lady to support uh, uh, to support us ndio be why because yeah, as much no, yeah, the thing with the, the thing with the lady is eh, they normally tend to think like wataachwa anytime anytime tu wataachwa tu mm. and then kitu kingine about ladies uh, most ladies they think like men will die before them so na ulizanga like ukikufa utatuachia nini <laughs> is it true <laughs> yeah they're like yo ukikufa sasa utatuachia nini Ouch. that's why you, you feel like uh, ladies wana sema ngado yao ni yao uh, na yako ni yetu but ask yourself hiyo yako ile siku nitafika mwisho what will happen because tumezoea mingi ndio yeah so that's my take actually but see, see nini that was just a by the way uh, kuna brand marshal hapa even anasema tuned So is that time to na uh, this song na before to launch ingo mwingine <laughs> wacha tucheze ingo mwingine ya our sister here at you least know. you see eh hey, you see you see what i'm talking about when i tell you this lady is super talented 
set ya si batisi alichapa soprano nyingine hapo kali sharp don yeah yeah lakini how 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 kwani don do ladies also break voice yes yes it happens most of the time especially if you what was i saying especially if you oh yes if you it breaks it breaks when you sing a lot you sing a lot or pray a lot or pray a lot you become Anderson. a oh. tandasan oh yeah tandasan um. eh mtu anajitetea eh uh-huh. eh yeah unajua <laughs> I'm, I'm, i've been asking myself uh. kuna ah uh, wengine wako na base mbona <clears throat> Okay sijasema mimi mbona sisi wengine hatunanga bezi Wasa, wengine o, wananga bezi jua una sound ka backup Eh eh don uh, is okay washani <laughs> washani ingia pande ya vi leo is okay So nataka onesheze ngo I love you lord Ah uh, tufurahie hapa hivi kidogo mm. and then uh, turudi tumalizie hapa na Bimiki eh ngoma moja naoma sana safi sana actually this is the first station kucheza hii ngoma <laughs> Yeah this is the norm so nataka utupatie your social media handles hapo uh, hivi kidogo before tutuangushe kitu kubwa I'm Abimiki on I'm Abimiki on Facebook Abimiki on Instagram, Abimiki on YouTube, Abimiki on Twitter, Abimiki on Snapchat, Abimiki on LinkedIn, Abimiki on everywhere. Wherever you want to find me, you can find me as Abimiki or Abimiki Music. I'm blessed to be here and uh, uh, go to my YouTube channel, click the red button. No finya koka bel kako hapo hivyo. And again, I have a new song which we are launching today. I also want to minister to your life not just through music but through many things. I can motivate you, I can speak to you, I can, you know, mentor you. I don't know, but I just want you to go there up on YouTube ile yenye takufurahisha stick na hiyo otherwise you're blessed. I want I am leaving uh, my sister up hivi uh, atupatie hiyo ngoma yake mpya and then uh, now to meet next week same place same time. This is the-